Hello and thank you for your Serena purchase. Today I'm going to cover what comes in the Serena boxes, where to register a warranty and also where to find the serial numbers. When the Serena ships from the manufacturer, it comes in a master box. There will be two boxes located inside this box. The smaller box is going to come with your power nozzle. It's going to come with your electric, electric wand, which is quick connect. It's identified by the black casing. It will also come with your electric hose, which is identified by the trigger handle. And it will come with the Serena floor brush. In the larger box, you're going to find the Serena itself, the Serena basin, the Serena dolly, the wet and dry hose, the stainless still expandable wand, and the curved wand that attaches to the wet and dry hose. <clears throat> now all your other attachments are going to be found inside the Serena basin. You're going to have the upholstery tool, you're going to have a dusting brush, you're going to have a crack and crevice tool, and you're also going to have a blower inflator tip. Now the Serena will ship with a, uh, we call a separator brush, it's found underneath the Serena on the back below the HEPA filter. It just pulls out of its little storage compartment and you use this to clean the separator. Now depending on which bundle you get from Serena, you may find that you have the Serena Turbo Brush, which is great for pet hair, the Ocean Breeze Deodorizer, the pack of four fragrances. Now all three of these, items are sold separately, they do come in some bundles. So the most important thing to do when you open your Serena is to register your warranty. So you just go to serenabacken.com, go under the support tab and click on register your Serena. It's going to ask for some personal information, it's also going to ask you for a few serial numbers. So the power nozzle serial number is going to be located in gray right in the back of the power nozzle. The Serena serial number is going to be underneath in the back engraved right below the HEPA filter. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set your Serena up for its first use. The first thing you're going to want to do is get water into the Serena. So what you're going to do is you're going to detach it from its dolly. You simply hit the lever in the back and it pulls straight out of the dolly. The next thing you'll want to do is separate the Serena from the basin. All you do is unlatch both sides and pull straight up. Now, the Serena will ship with attachments in them, so if you haven't taken the attachments out, now's a good time to do that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna fill the Serena up to the minimum level with water. Now, if you're using the Serena fragrances or deodorizer, now's the perfect time to put them in. To assemble the Serena, you're going to simply place the Serena on top of the basin. You're going to latch the sides. It's super important that you do this step first before attempting to put it into the dolly. To get it into the dolly, you're going to line up the front and make sure that the front latches. And then you simply press back and it'll latch into place. Now all your attachments will actually fit right around the Serena so you have them with you while you're cleaning your house. Okay. It is important to note that there's a front and a back. The front is going to be where the intake is. So when you first hook up your hose, you're going to make sure that you put it into the front of the Serena. If you do happen to see that you're using it and you see that it's blowing, that means that you've accidentally hooked it up into the back, into the rear that you lost. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble your power nozzle for its first time use. So you're going to locate three different parts. You're going to need your power nozzle, you're going to need the electric hose which is identified by the trigger and the handle, you're also going to need your electric wand which is identified by the black cart casing. So you're going to start by putting the wand into the power nozzle and make sure it clicks into place. The second step is going to be to insert the handle in the hose make sure it clicks into the wand. You hear a click. If for some reason you don't feel the beta bar is, is turning on when you pull the trigger, it just means you need to reseat it. Sometimes it's when they're new, they're a little tough to get together. It does have an expandable wand, so you can adjust it to your height. It also has three different settings down here for your carpet height. You just turn the knob to the desired level. When you're plugging in the power nozzle into the Serena, you wanna make sure that you plug it into the front of the Serena. So you'll remove the front cover 
there's a little lip here that protects the electric the electrical parts. You want to plug that, lift that lift up, and just plug it straight in, just like that, and it's ready to go. Now to disassemble it, all you're going to do is push down the lever right here, pull straight out, and then to disconnect the hose from the wand, there's another lever that you pull back, and it disconnects like that. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the wet dry hose with the stainless steel wand. So we'll want to find the wet dry hose. This will be the hose without the, the handle grip with the trigger. You'll find the curved stainless steel wand and it will just connect into the end of the hose and you'll fill it click into place. Next you'll grab the stainless steel wand and depress the button. Make sure that locks into place. This wand is, is expandable and you can use all the attachments onto this wand. They just simply slide in, make sure they lock into place, and it's ready to use. The Serena comes with a two-speed motor. So it's got an on-off button, and it's got a speed button. When you originally turn it on, it's gonna always turn on in high mode. That's the mode you're gonna use when you're vacuuming or you're using the attachments. The low mode's gonna be used for an air purifier and also for aromatizing. So when you turn it on, it goes into high mode, turn off the Serena, you'll hit the on-off button again. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Serena essential oils and the Serena deodorizer in your system. You want to start by removing the motor housing from the basin. Simply unlatch the two clips on the side and lift off of the basin. You'll want to put the essential oils directly into the water. All it takes is a few drops of the essential oils or about a cap full of the deodorizer is all you need. Once you've done that, you'll want to replace the motor housing back onto the basin. Latch the two clips on the side and you're ready to go. Using your attachments with the Serena is really simple. All the wands and the hoses are interchangeable, so you can use the attachments on either wand or either hose. It's real simple to do. You're gonna take your wand and attach it to the curved wand. This will allow you to extend your reach. All the, all the attachments have little Mickey Mouse ears so that they slide on to your wands, simple, and they click into place, okay? What's special about this curved wand is that it's got a little airflow regulator. So when you twist it and you open the little, the little inlet, it's gonna decrease the airflow at the end. This comes in handy when you're doing blinds, drapes, um, lamps, things like that, okay? To unattach, you're simply gonna push down on the button and pull the attachment off, and you can switch attachments. Same with the wand, you just push the button and unhook it. One good thing to note is that these wands can connect together to give you a longer reach. You simply push down in the pin, lock it into place, now you have a longer reach to get up high and in difficult places. The Serena comes with a blower tip, which can also be used to inflate uh, pool toys, air mattresses, and things like that. It's simple to use. What you'll want to do is you want to actually pull off the back cover of the exhaust, plug either hose into the, into the back, and then you'll simply put your blower tip onto the wand and when you turn on it is now a inflator blower. In this video I'm going to talk about the turbo brush. The turbo brush is a pet lover's best friend. It's great for pet hair. You can do your stairs with it, you can do your furniture with it, and it's simple to use. Now, just like all the other attachments, the turbo brush can be used on any of the wands, okay? I'm gonna use it on the curved wand just for demonstration purposes. <clears throat> Plug it right into the front. Now, what's special about this turbo brush is that it's air-driven, so you'll notice as it revs up, the motor revs up, the beater bar gets the speed as well. 
that way, it's not going to burn your furniture, your carpets, or anything. When you're done using the turbo brush, if you have any air caught in it, things like that, and you need to clean it, you simply line up the arrows with the dot, push down and pull out, and you can clean out the turbo brush, just like that. This is a must have if you have pets. One of the most unique features about the Serena is that it can be used to pick up liquids. So whether you spill a glass of wine or you drop an egg on the floor, the Serena will pick it up and put it in the basin without causing any issues. So to do that, you want to make sure you start with the empty Serena. You want the basin to be completely empty. You connect the wet and dry hose up to the front. Now make sure you're using the wet and dry hose. Do not pick up liquids with the electric hose. The electric hose is the one, again, that has the trigger on it. Then you want to take, take it, make sure your vent is closed the little airflow vent, and turn on your Serena. This will make up any liquid. Put it right down in the Serena. And then when you're done picking up the liquid, take off the back cover. Go ahead and put your wand into the back. And it's going to dry off the hose. About 30, 45 seconds, the hose will be completely dry. And you can put away your screen. Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about maintaining your HEPA filter on the Serena. The HEPA filter is located in the back of the Serena underneath the back cover. To get the HEPA filter out, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. It's got three screws. The whole compartment will actually come out. Now you want to rinse your HEPA filter every three months and we suggest replacing it every 12 to 18 months. So if you're using your Serena once or twice a week, the HEPA filter should last you 18 months. If you're using it more frequently, you'd probably want to replace your HEPA filter every year. The thing about the HEPA filter is that if it gets clogged or it's dirty, it will reduce the cleaning efficiency. So it's something that you really want to monitor. And if you notice that it's dirty, go ahead and clean it. One point that I will make that when you rinse out your HEPA filter, make sure that it completely dries before you place it back into your Serena. Uh, other than that, just monitor it and make sure it's clean and your Serena will be working like brand new. In this video, I'm gonna talk about cleaning the separator on the Serena vacuum. Now, this is some routine maintenance that you wanna do after every couple of uses. In the beginning, when you first start using the Serena, you may notice that it gets dirty uh, more frequently, so you might wanna clean it after every use. But just like the HEPA filter, if you see that it's dirty, go ahead and clean it so you maintain 100% efficiency. So the separator can be located on the underside of the motor housing. So you'll separate from the basin and the separator is located here. You do have a little brush stored in the compartment underneath the HEPA filter and this is going to be used to clean and also to get the separator off. Use the wrench side to unscrew the separator. Make sure you put the nut somewhere you won't lose it. <coughs> And then to clean the separator, you're just going to use a brush and some hot water. You don't have to use any harsh chemicals or anything like that. Everything should come off pretty easily. Uh, once it's clean, go ahead and put it back onto the spindle and make sure that it's flush against the Serena. And then go ahead and lock that nut back on there. Use your wrench. Make sure it's uh, tight, but don't over tighten it. Okay. Then you always want to remember to put your brush back in the little compartment here so you don't lose it and you have it for next time. In this video, I'm going to talk about maintaining and troubleshooting your power nozzle. So you may notice that your power nozzle is not picking up things like it should. Maybe the beater brush is not spinning or that it just has a lot of hair wrapped around the beater bar. So in order to get in here, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. There's one screw that's holding the compartment into place. So you'll unscrew that screw. Then to get into the compartment, there's two clips at the top that you push down and the compartment just pulls right off. There is an extra belt kept inside this little compartment here. If you need to get the beater bar out so you can clean it, it simply pulls right out, just like this. And then you can cut off all the hair, clean it, whatever you need to do. If you need to replace the belt, you simply push the new belt onto the little spindle there. Then you're gonna wrap it around the beater bar. And then you stretch it and push it 
push it right back into place, just like that. You want to make sure that the belt is lined up and that it's spinning freely. To put the cover back on, you're going to line the three holes up right in the front and then clip it back into place. Be sure to put your Phillips screw right back in to hold that cover into place. Just like so. And your power nozzle should be working as good as new. Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about storing your Serena. Okay? The Serena does use water as a filtration, so it may get wet on the other side. When you're going to store it, make sure you dry this off and make sure you clean out the basin really well and that it's completely dry. When you actually put the Serena up, you want to store it without the basin so that any excess water can dry. But it does click right onto the dolly, just like this without the basin inside. To wrap the cord, you're just gonna hook it onto the swivels and it'll wrap all the way up. So just remember, make sure it's dry when you put it away and never store it on the basin. Hello, in this video I'm gonna be covering the Serena's warranty. The Serena does have a 10 year warranty on the motor, three years on parts and a year on labor. There are two things that will void out your warranty. The Serena is not designed to pick up sawdust, uh, drywall, or ashes, or anything else that's non-water soluble. So the, picking up these things could damage your Serena, and if you, that happens, it's not gonna be covered under warranty. The other thing that will void out your warranty is using the Serena for a commercial vacuum. It's designed to be used in home, residential, um, but other than that, follow those two guidelines and you should be fine.